Steps have begun to disband a Japan-sponsored foundation that was set up for the Korean victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery. The Seoul government has officially announced the dissolution of the Reconciliation and Healing Foundation. It will be consulted with Tokyo on what to do with the 1 billion yen donation Japan gave to the foundation. The decision to disband the Japan-funded foundation comes 28 months since its launch. The decision is in line with the principle to place the focus on restoring the honor and dignity of the victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery. The Reconciliation and Healing Foundation was set up in accordance with a deal struck with Japan in December 2015. It was launched in July 2016 with a 1 billion yen donation from Japan. So far, 4.4 billion won of this fund has been paid out to 34 surviving victims and 58 deceased victims. The foundation was meant to restore victims' honor and heal their wounds, but it was highly controversial well before the launch. The agreement with Japan was not consulted with the victims, and the monetary aid was for the purpose of healing and not compensation for the war crimes. Since the current Moon Jae-in administration came to office, the government decided to instead pay the full amount of the 1 billion yen received from Japan. Civilian board members of the foundation have also all resigned. Even after the foundation ceased functions, it still spent some 27 million won in monthly operational costs which drew criticism. The Ministry of Gender Equality and Family, exercising the minister's executive power, will soon revoke the permit granted for the foundation's establishment. The full process, including asset liquidation, is expected to take as long as one year. What to do with the 1 billion yen received from Japan needs consultation with Tokyo, but the dissolution of the foundation will go ahead regardless.